In this video, we're going to take a look at the Giant Conduct Accessory Adapter Pack, what's included, how it works, and how to install it onto a bike. So, starting with what's included, this is the main plastic mount that connects to the bike, and it's also the piece that everything else attaches to. Following on from that, it's the plastic GoPro mount with a built-in nut. This is the plastic light mount that should allow a variety of lights to mount easily to it. Um, although it's worth noting that it's likely going to be upside down, so depending on the beam pattern of your light, it might not work for you. This is the Garmin mounting mechanism. Um, it includes two spacers, two Garmin mounts, both of different heights, and a range of screws to mount the parts together depending on the chosen configuration. The package also includes a variety of mounting hardware required later, and also the instruction manual shown here. So to get started installing the mount on the bike, you need to add the appropriate washer to the two longer bolts, and also collect the two black aluminium spacers. The bolts should be slotted through the main plastic mount, and the spacers should be slotted on the back, as shown in the video. Remove the two bottom stem faceplate bolts and then slot them out into place, lining up the screws with the holes in the stem mounting mechanism. From there, tighten the bolts with an Allen key. Next, you need to decide if you're wanting to use the light mount or the GoPro mount, as only one can be installed at any one time. Uh, once decided, in this case we're going for the GoPro mount, we need to add the washer to the smaller black bolt and slot it through the front hole on the mount. Again, using an Allen key, line up the GoPro mount with the main plastic mount and tighten until in place. Then, grab the second black bolt and add the washer and tighten into the second hole using an Allen key until the mount is solidly into place. Then, the GoPro mount is installed. So next onto the Garmin mount, so the manual lists some common configuration patterns, but in this case for a Garmin Edge 530, only a simple setup is required. So using a single spacer, lining up the notches and pushing it into place, then using the appropriate length Garmin mount, uh, again matching up the notches and pushing it into place, it then needs to be secured with the appropriate length screw, um, tightening using an Allen key, and once installed, the Garmin mount is then ready for use. Uh, in the next few clips, it's just showing the installation of a GoPro onto the mount and also a Lazine front light with the optional GoPro adapter um, rather than the traditional rubber strap. One oddity that I came across was that the original GoPro thumb screw was too short and couldn't actually secure the camera into place. Um, and although a suitable bolt is included with the adapter pack, um, it's not attached to a thumb screw, um, so in the end, I ended up just using a third party one with a slightly longer reach. That's all for this video, thanks for watching.